Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Cougar House Garage. Brandon and I are picking right up where we left off yesterday. We're working on designing up our Cougar House Fab transmission cross member for the Super Duty here. Um, we made our cardboard stencil yesterday and then today we're just designing it in the engineering PC, how we want to cut it out. And then we'll move on to the Bailey plasma table here and we'll cut it out there. And then we'll get it um, tacked up on the chassis, how we want it. And then once it's how we totally want it, we'll fully weld it together and then bolt it in. And then we're going to move on to the rear suspension, well not rear, rear suspension, but the rear cross member that holds the carrier bearing for the drive line. Our friend Birdsong is coming over today to help us out a little bit, so he'll be tearing down those rear cross members off the truck while we're putting or welding together this one. So it should be a really productive afternoon having somebody actually come come over and help us out. So it'll be really fun hanging out with Birdsong and Brandon and I today. So all right, guys, let, let's get started. Cue the music. Got a package here from UPS. See what it is, guys. Oh cool, it's our Mackie speakers. Dope. Ooh, big box. Went up like this. So these are pretty cool. We needed a garage upgrade for our old speakers that I had from when I was in middle school. So these are pretty cool. They're Bluetooth. Creative reference, you know, streaming music speakers. So we got a twisty knob on the front here, so we can adjust the volume, obviously. And then Bluetooth adaptation, so we can just hook, hook our phone up to it, pause, play across the garage while we're filming and stuff. So cool. Let's get them open. Powered speakers, yo. duplicate that or whatever I like this I like that I don't like that it needs to be fewer triangles that are bigger and more angly
Song just got here to help us out. Brandon's over here getting him on task with started. He's gonna have him start pulling off these pieces he's got on the rear cross member there and then he'll have him start cutting out both these cross members. While we're over here on the engineering PC finishing up the transmission cross member and while we're cutting it out on the plasma table. So turn the music back on.
We cut out the transmission cross member today after we designed it up in the engineering PC. We got it cut out on the Bailey plasma table and we got it tacked together. And also my friend Birdsong came over to help us out. We got actually twice as much work to done today that we normally would. He got the cross members cut out that are on the truck factory for its carrier bearing and an extra cross member that was there because we originally started with, with a cabin chassis truck so it was like three feet longer than it should have been in the back but we made those adjustments when we made our step notch in the rear. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow we're able to come in here, Birdsong's gonna come back over and help us out and we're gonna move on to designing up our rear uh, carrier bearing cross member and that supports the front of the fuel tank. So that'll be cool to get on to designing that first thing in the morning. Um, but after, Brandon will do that after he fully welds together the transmission cross member. We weren't able to weld it together today, but we were able to get it completely tacked together so in the morning we can just come in here fully weld it up and get to actually mounting it on the project sacrilege so hey all right guys thanks for watching today thanks for your constant support as always please leave a comment thank you so much for liking and subscribing for those who have and then you guys know the spiel if you guys like what we do you like cougar house garage check us out at cougarhousegarage.com check us out at facebook forward slash cougar house garage and then check us out on instagram guys catch you tomorrow yeah well, that's it for today, folks. Catch you later.